Well, let's understand the role of zero. If you go back to our analogies, we did analogies with partial fractions and analogies with differential equations. In partial fractions, there's no distinction with zero being a root. When, when you have a term like x to the fifth, you have a term like constant over x, constant over x squared, constant over x cubed, constant over x to the fourth, just like all the other terms. But in the advancement operator world, the root zero plays a special role. So look at the equation a to the m on fn equals zero. So that's just the kind of thing we've been talking about, but now a is a minus zero, so the root here is zero. So what does, a, what does a to the m on f of n do? It advances the n m times. So that equation means f of n plus m must be zero for all n. But that's just a shift. It's just a shift. So if f of n plus m is zero for all n, then f of n is zero for all n. It's always zero. So the only solution is the zero function, which is completely different from the other values. When, when r is not zero, any constant times r to the n. OK, in some sense it is, because what, what is zero to the nth power? Well, watch out. You, you're thinking zero to the nth is, is zero. Yeah, but n can be positive, negative, or zero. And last time I checked, people don't like you talking about zero to the minus three. They don't like zero to the zero either. Okay, but it, it, it helps you to understand why when you have a root which is zero, then the only solution is the zero function. So you take off all the roots that are zero. And so the consequence of this is if you have a polynomial P of A and it has a root, if zero is a root of multiplicity M, then you can take off A to the M times the rest. And now Q of A is a polynomial degree d greater than 1, but doesn't have 0 as a root. Take all those off. And so the solution is determined entirely in terms of the properties of Q. The factors involving the zeros irrelevant. And that is explaining why we're focusing on polynomials where the leading coefficient and the last coefficient are non-zero. If the leading coefficient is zero, you just decrease the size. If the last coefficient is zero, you factor out the extra powers of A and throw them away. <laughs>